and welcome back to a brand new episode of Rising World with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Oh yeah, everybody, welcome back, welcome back. I am truly excited. Guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? I uh, completed Half Life today, and we defeated Casper. Oh yes, we did. We defeated Casper. All right, can we please get off of this? Eh. Oh my goodness, world load. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's something that really needs to get patched. That is aggravating sometimes. Okay, you know, I could play Minecraft and not have to worry about the bouncy, 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 one by one by one by one. But you know what? Seriously, I feel like I'm in a, I, I feel like I'm on a trampoline every time I load the game up. Seriously, I do. It's an, it's annoying and it's aggravating. Really, it is. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. So, what were we looking at last episode? Uh, we were looking at some planks and beams for the inside of the house. And, okay. Mm, you know what? You know what? You know what? Here, 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 here. We're going to do this a little bit fast. We're going to have ourselves some fun today, guys. You know that? We're going to have a, a lot, and I mean a lot of fun. All right? Give me this. Let's hit five. Let's munch on some carrots. Oh, yes. I am so excited. I completed a game today. And guess what I'm going to be doing, guys? All right, so guess what I'm going to be doing? First things first, and congratulations to actually completing that game. I hope you guys actually go over there and actually take a look at that game. It was a lot of fun to actually work on, and I really hope you guys actually go over there and take a look at it. Um, it was a lot of fun. It, really, it has been. I need that. Um... <laughs> It was a lot of fun, really it was. And today we're gonna to be doing some work on the inside of the house. Um, we might not need this, we definitely sure as heck won't be needing that. Um, we might need this, hey, give me that. Um, we're gonna be building inside the house today, guys. I'm gonna do some work inside. Oh yes, I promised you guys a montage for today, didn't I? Didn't I? I promised you guys a little bit of a montage for the inside of the house. Okay, so we're going to need some stone. Let's get some stuff and things up out of the way. Let's start with this scaffolding. Get out of here. And let's get this one up out of here. Yeah, come on. Just get out of here. <laughs> we're going to take these things. Let's go shove them inside our crate. We got some more stuff and things. We even got a bucket we don't need. Oh, yeah, lots of stuff and things. Here we go. Let's put these things away. And you know what we you know what we could need inside this game, guys? You know what we need? We need a scientific laboratory. All right? We need a scientific laboratory. What's a post-apocalyptic world without a scientific laboratory? Okay? We're going to have to add that. So, first thing, let's do something. All right? Let's do something. Um, do we have any lumber left? We got wood. We got wood. All right. Do we got any wood over here? No. We just got more junk. All right. <laughs> Let's shove this in there. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think we're going to be taking a hop, hop the dop the over a wall anytime soon. There we go. We got food. Um, we got pumpkins. We got, yeah, we got food. We got eight potatoes. We got two apples. We got ourselves a watermelon. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, that's not a watermelon. That's a pumpkin. We strip this thing and we get some pumpkin pie, even though it looks like you're just eating a regular pumpkin. Eat a slice of pumpkin. Uh, 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 can we bake it first? <laughs> can we bake it first, man? Please. <laughs> can we bake the pumpkin first? All right. <laughs> Anyways, let's shut, let's uh, let's just stop messing around. I'm gonna head up the road here. Hey, Orville. You know what? I came so close to killing you earlier. <laughs> I did promise you guys a montage today, and we will do that montage. What is this thing? Oh, that's a chicken. Rotisserie? Yeah. Rotisserie? No. Okay. We'll leave you alone. You can do your thing. You can do your thing. We won't eat you, I promise. And this thing no longer looks like a weed. Now it just looks like it's just sticking up like a sore thumb. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. It does. It just looks like it's sticking up like a sore thumb. So we got any logs inside of here? Yes. We're going to take all of this wood down there with us because clearly we're going to be using it. All right. Um, my table is all the way down here. I want to make a uh, sign. Okay. A sign just to let me know that we want a scientific laboratory. All right. 
Now, we do need a science lab. I don't know where we're going to build this thing at eventually, but uh, we do need it. We do need it. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Construction uh, signs. Um, boom. All right. Um, how about a metal sign? No, 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 no. no. Uh, stone sign? No. No. All right. Um, we need lumber for this, by the way. Let's give me some lumber. Uh, let's see here. Uh, resources, lumber. Okay. Um, two. That should be more than enough. All right. Let's see here. Wooden sign pull. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. Okay. Let's get something nice and crystal clear that we can work on. There we go. That ought to work. Craft the object. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. So I want this thing to be able to tell me that we need a laboratory. All right. So let's put this thing down and let's move that thing around in a circle. We want to build a laboratory. Let's put this thing down. Let's go ahead. We're going to E on this thing. Build a half life labra. Laboratory? Did I spell that right? Or is it laboratory? Ah, uh, it's labora. Tory. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I spelled that right. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Um. Or. Or uh. No, 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 no. You know what? We want that. We want a half-life lab lab laboratory. Okay. I don't know. You know what? We'll just we'll just stick with it for right now. And the funniest part about this, guys, is you should be able to walk up to these things and hit the E button on them to edit them again. Um, let's go ahead and let's get into montage mode and let's build this floor inside here, okay? Um, before we do that, I want to get some stone up out of here. Like so, we got one, we got two, we got three. There should be a fourth stack of stone. All right, Giuliano, I see you online, buddy boy. You're, you're awesome. Okay, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. You're okay. You're okay by me. All right, guys, let's get into montage mode and let's do some work on this place. Adios. My lights are fading. The paths I can choose between Are we built to be machines? A thousand voices, different things
this floor inside of here what I did inside here in the kitchen is I went on ahead I placed down this nice worn down floor inside of here I placed it down inside of here just to kind of kind of place it out you know I needed a placeholder for putting down a rug and what I did for the rug is I used the planks as you guys can see I used uh, a different type of wood beam for that um, in the kitchen, one thing that we do need to do, if we can do it, is, let's see here, what is this? ID 97. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I need these ones right here, which is ID 97. I'm going to go up to this, and we're going to do 97. And we're going to get ourselves a couple of those, okay? And what I want to do is, I want to hit this right here. I want to pull this off. I want to pull this off. And instead of making a solid on this right here, I want to fix the mistake that I made the first time. Because all of this right here, we made this all solid, but we didn't put an underlayment underneath it, which is something that I could have done before. Now, there's something else that I could do, and I was thinking about this yesterday. And this is a lot to take off. I mean, because we decided to use ID61 inside of here. And yeah, I completely forgot that I could have done this is uh, why by widening the board. So what, what we're going to do today is we're going to fix this up. We're going to no, 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 no. There's no board there, is there? No. Okay, let's not pull that up and say we did. It does give you the correct number back. There he goes. Alright, we got one here. It's hard to tell the difference between what is what. And right over here, yeah. That is something we could have paid attention to. Um, getting a bit dark in the game already. Aha! All right, so we got all that taken care of. Let's go ahead, let's close this off. And instead of, seriously, stop it. Um, instead of using that stuff, let's go ahead and I want to show you guys something. Stop it. All right. Um, I hate that. It always gives me a player list. Uh, I don't want a player list. Now, you guys see this plank, this I-beam, the stuff right here? What I want to show you guys is something that was running across my mind. And you guys are familiar with insulation, right? <laughs> and I was looking through these. Where is it? All right. So I was looking through this stuff. And you see how we got all these different block materials, okay? So let's keep looking. Re recycled metal. We could use these. Um, it's different. But this... 
snow. It was like a pinkish block that I ran across. Um, looking for it right now. Um, that actually wouldn't make a bad tile. I'm looking for it because I ran across it yesterday right after I ended the episode. I was like, no, that actually would have looked nice. I think I was looking, it was like a pinkish block. No, it wasn't this. I don't think I want to add that inside the walls. Um, I was thinking of an insulation when I looked at it. I was like, oh, that would be so cool. Who wouldn't want insulation inside of their walls, okay? Y you know what? Let's just try this, all right? So we're going to look at this, for example, okay? And this is ID 49. All right, so let's try this. Let's do um, item wood beam 6449. Okay. Now, stop it. All right, we got this one right here. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hit two on this. And I want to show you guys something that's a little bit weird. Um, I want your opinion on it. Um, insul picture this, you want an insulation inside your walls, all right? You want to keep the cold out. You don't want to be freezing cold. You actually want to be staying warm, all right? So what about taking something like this and placing it inside of here and saying, you know what? I want to stay warm, all right? So we take this thing and we place it inside of here and we're like, all right, you know what? Um, first off, let's spin this thing around. Let's zoom in to make sure it's actually in there and not sticking through. Oh, goodness. Why is it always so hard? Turn that light on. There we go. Let's minus this. Now imagine this is insulation. All right, you just go right on ahead, you plug it in there. That should not have done that. I don't know why that did that. But imagine that as insulation inside of your walls, all right? We just go ahead and plug that away inside of the walls. And yeah, I thought about it and I was like, no, you know what? It's too many planks, it's too many bleams. I don't want to add it inside of there. You know what? That's going to irritate me. Let's see what's causing that because that is irritating me. Player list, stop it. You know what? Can we just take that thing and just stick it on something? Maybe, no, all right. No. Can we do this? Yeah, that ought to work. Left bracket, woohoo, all right. And tab, yes, yes. And if I want to pause it, okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, so that was driving me bonkers right there. Anyways, what I wanted to do is, well, we got this thing right here. That's our underlayment for the inside of the house. Um, the interior, well, let's go ahead. Let's put this thing on the wall. What is that? This will go on the inside. Let's go ahead. Let's bring that up. And we can shrink that thing down. This will basically just be an underlayment. Some of it is better off being f placed in here freehanded. But I like to make sure I have it all in here perfect so it doesn't overlap in the wrong space. There we go. Let's go ahead and place this one in over here. And we might have to put some underlayment on the exterior of this wall as well. All right, so let's just go right on ahead. We'll drag that to the edge, like right there. I need to finish off these walls. They're going to drive me bonkers. Um, really, they are. 
<laughs> they're gonna drive me bonkers. Uh, this over here, I need to get this in here. So I'm gonna lock this in with control. Let me go ahead and get the underlayment in here and we're gonna check out the new walls, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm still doing, I figured I would start doing some little work closing in the kitchen walls. By the way, this place looks awesome. It's coming together really cool. Um, let's take a screenshot of this while we're at it. Um, it does look pretty cool. I didn't even I didn't even put those other walls up yet. And this place is looking really good, by the way. Um, you can see I'm coming up here on this, just scooching this thing up as I'm coming along. Same way as I did when I first started this out. So yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. It looks like we hit the edge. Figure I'd bring you guys in here and show you a little bit of what I was doing here. And you can see we got the edge up here. So as we start to move it up, get that little bit of sleeve action going with it too. By the way, we should probably, I'm thinking about replacing the porch with some beams as well. Um, uh, maybe, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, I was thinking of doing some lattice with that instead. Um, running lattice around the sides, but we need to make sure we do things correctly on that. It's going to be a challenge, just like the rest of this house is going to be a challenge. Um, here we are coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, and we passed it. There we go, right there. All right, let's bring this thing up the rest of the way. There's only one more pass left to do after this. And, oh, we, I want to be able to put the kitchen windows in and all that stuff. Um, thinking tomorrow is going to be another montage, guys. Um, we're going to finish this house up tomorrow. Yeah. I just wanted to bring you guys in here, do some of this work with you. I really, really should have done this montage earlier, you know, came in here and cleaned clean this up, got all the walls done, got the floors in, did the windows together with you guys, at least completed the first floor, but I didn't do that. And it kind of bummed me out that I didn't do that the first time around. And I'm trying to make up for that. So we'll see what happens. All right. So where, where is this sleeve coming through at? We can see it moving up still and okay. It looks like we hit the edge. Make sure it overlaps just a wee little bit. All right, let's work our way up here. Cause I want to make sure this thing uh, comes up here and hits this edge right here pretty much. Cause that's where our window sills coming through at. All right, let's go ahead. Let's bring us down. want to make sure I do not have to shorten it. If I do have to shorten it, I need to know by how much. It'd be nice if I could speed this along, maybe just a wee little bit. All right, it looks like we are going to have to shorten this. Hold the shift key if you need to shorten your board. But we also need to keep a close eye on up there where it's coming across at because we can see it right here it's in line it's not over it, it is overlapping but where is it overlapping over here that's where my concern is right now i need to know how much it's overlapping and where it's overlapping at it's overlapping right about here so we can see it's sticking out maybe about a quarter of a foot Let's go ahead and shrink that up about, yay, so far. Right about there. And now we can go ahead, bring it over. Just to get that final overlap in. And with this final overlap, what I want to do is I need to bring this up to its final length all the way up here. 
and we need to make sure that it's zoomed in and right there okay now let's bring this thing the whole way in as far as we can because we don't want this sticking outside If we zoom up here, we can see where it is. All right, here we go. Let me pause and finish up this last one, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, got it in. And now as we walk around this place, it's starting to shape up nice and good. We got our uh, plant, we got our underlayment on the walls. We have, you know what, that underlayment actually looks pretty good up here. You know, from up here where we're standing, it actually looks really nice. But once we get, what, we are going to have to add a ceiling in here. And we'll worry about that once we get to the second floor of this place. You can see I didn't quite finish that up right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up really quick. And let me get this straight. All right, backspace and let's see if I can get this thing in here. You know, let's just control on this thing. And let's see if we can get this thing in here. Just kind of niche it in. There we goes. See if I can finish this up. I thought I finished this piece up over here. I guess I didn't. Ah, page down. I thought I finished this piece up. I was getting ready to uh, end the episode. I'm like, oh, wait a second. We skipped a piece. How does that look down below? All right, down below. All right, um, it looks like it needs to come out just a touch. It's up a little bit too high. I didn't realize that. Now I can, but yeah, it's sitting up too high. All right. Um, let's try that again. This ought to make easy work. <laughs> this ought to make some easy trim. All right, let's go ahead and bring this piece up right here. All right. It looks like we're just about done with this now. Page up on that, maybe about, there we go. That looks just about right. And yeah, I think it does. Looks about right, uh, right there. Maybe, does it have to go up any higher? Let's see, page up. Okay, that will reveal just a little bit of crack. Goes up, uh, maybe not so high. Let's get up underneath it, let's take a look. Let's zoom up there, how's that look right there? It's actually flush on both the bottom and the top. All right, let's go ahead and place it. Um, D control that and move this out of the way. Let's pull this out and yeah, that actually looks nice. Let's see what this stuff looks like for a wall now. Shall we? Or shall we wait till next episode, guys? Um, let's hit backspace on this. And you know what? Let's just see what we can do here. Let's move this thing up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's turn this thing into some real panels. There we go. Here, hit backspace on this. There we go. Now let's see what this stuff looks like on the walls. All 
All right, remember, this is just an experiment. Let's see how it looks. Ah, right about here. All right. Add a plus inside of it, maybe. Ooh, that breaks that up nicely. Ooh, that comes to the door so nice. Look at that, guys. It even leaves room for a little bit of trim. Let's go ahead and place that in there and see what it looks like. Oh, that looks nice. And it accents the kitchen really nicely. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Of course, some of this stuff is going to have to be put in here manually, like uh, this one. Uh, let's go ahead and hit control on that one. And we'll go ahead and uh, shove this one in there, kind of like that. And we'll just go ahead and do that and pull this out with control once more. And you can see, once, it, once we have all this in, it's going to look nice. Um, it's going to take a little bit of work, but yeah, I think that's going to accent the kitchen really nicely. We use something like this and along this, well, along with this really nice Persian rug in the kitchen, but we got to finish off all of the walls in the house, guys. That's what I want to do tomorrow. Okay. I want to finish off the walls on the uh, inside of the house for the out exterior. I want to get that done preferably tomorrow um probably yoink this door off of here and what i want to do is once we get these walls put in i mean i'm going to leave the door off of here for right now but i want to put in a white trim around this edge and down on this so that like a steel plate okay We'll put a steel plate in here and preferably down here. Then we'll put the door back in so it looks a little bit rustic, okay? A, ru a rustic plate in there like a door jammy. Mm -hmm. I think that sounds like a plan. Tomorrow, let's go back into montage mode, guys. We will do get all the exterior walls done on the house. Get some windows in here. Um, yeah, that uh, sounds like a plan. Let's montage all of this all of these exterior walls let's get them done um, we want the windows in we want to be able to separate the rooms off but we can't do that well we can't do it we, we already know where the staircase is going to be at it's going to be right here and the staircase for right here it's pretty much going to go down and what i want for this staircase it's going to come down like right over it's going to whoops I, I fell in here again. Seriously? There we go. So we want a staircase that's going to lead down here into the men's room. Well, not the men's room, but the man den. And... Yeah. I think it's coming together. It's coming together. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this, guys. I have to end the episode. This place is looking good. It's coming together really nicely. And, yeah, I think this is. This is looking nice. And that rug looks really nice on that floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> looks good. Looks good. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Later.